The movie has some incredible horror moments, particularly body horror. I wondered if you could talk us through some of your favourite moments of horror in the film and how you made them so horrific. Very complicated for me and I guess for you too, yeah. to, to detach from the experience of making it. I would say I like the hook very much. I think the hook is a wonderful thing by Ted Mewling, a great designer who made it for us. Mm. The hook is great. I think uh, Alec Weck uh, expression when she <laughs> uses the hook is quite fantastic. Yeah. I think Fabrizia Sacchi um, magic spell to make Olga cry is a great moment. Yes, I agree with that. I, but I think everything we describe comes from the incredible power of performance of these wonderful actresses. When when Angela starts laughing when Olga leaves. Oh her. wow. Oh. Angela Winkler. Amazing. Amazing. Or the way in which uh, Ingrid Kaven console at the end of the movie the whole Professor Klemper leaving, get, get, bringing him out of the building in the snow, mm -hmm. singing her, him uh, Brahms lullaby with all the contradictions yeah. and paradox of that moment. And then the women in the back of the office with the hooks and the officers with their pants down. I love the scene where uh, Olga is in the room of mirrors. Uh, to me, I think it's genius and, and so spooky and it makes your blood crawl uh, and I haven't really ever seen anything like that in film before and, and I, I definitely, for me, that's the scariest part of the movie. I've never seen dancing like this in film before, I don't think. I mean, what were those dancing scenes like to film? Really intense. Really intense. I think they were scary they because, were scary. Uh, you know, a dance is something difficult to achieve, right? Yeah, it's so difficult to achieve, especially when the dan the way that we shot it, the first dance scene we shot was Volk, was the performance of Volk. And that was the first time that we were doing it in complete costume. It was like a real dance performance and there was an audience yeah. of extras and it was absolutely terrifying. It wasn't it wasn't like, okay, let's you film the first 10 seconds, let's film the first minute. It was a six minute choreographed dance and it was difficult and terrifying. It felt very real, they didn't really feel like we were filming scenes. It, there was something very hypnotic about those dances and we've been training for months to, for, for those scenes. So by the time we got there, it kind of just felt like an extension of what we were doing in rehearsal. It didn't feel like we were making a movie at all at that point, which was really interesting. What sort of prep and training did you have to do for that? I trained six days a week, eight hours a day, and it was intense. I hadn't had any dance training before, and I actually told Luca I had been dancing my whole life, so I felt a real pressure to <laughs> to really um, play catch-up. So you told a little fib? I, I would have told Luca anything to be a part of his film. Did he ever find out that that was a little white lie? No, <laughs> no. Well, he, I told him, but, but then I ended up learning the dance, and, and I think I did all right, so it was all okay in the end. What's so beautiful too about contemporary dance is that it doesn't have to be perfect. And and sometimes um, the less trained you are, the more um, raw and, 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 and organic in a way it is. It's not a dance like ballet or, or tap or something like that. Um, there's there's beauty in, to be found in, in the imperfections and, and when you're a little off rhythm and, and things like that. I remember we did it the first time and you didn't get up and say anything. And then we did it like four more times and you didn't say anything and I was like I feel ashamed. I ruined it. I'm terrible. No, it and beautiful. then you got up after the fifth take and you walked by and you put your hand on my shoulder and you said brava. Ah! And then we were done. I didn't remember that, sorry. I apologize <laughs> for being cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were focused. <coughs> but I was nervous. Your collaborations together seem like a real dream team. I mean, what's your favorite thing about working together? I feel safe with, with Dakota and I know that wherever she is and I can look at her in the eyes and it's like she's there. I, th I feel completely free with Dakota. I can do whatever I want. Same. Yeah. I feel the same exact way. The movie's got such a great cast. You've got yourself, you've got Dakota Johnson, you've got Tilda Swinton. I wondered what your most memorable moment from filming together was. The fact that we were an all-female cast and we had all these incredible actresses who are such characters and so funny. I couldn't just name one, that would be too difficult. But I think as a whole, in the, to be in a movie led by an all-female cast with a director like Luca, just that alone is my favourite memory. We love watching you and Dakota on screen together and your chemistry. Uh, I wondered what's your favourite thing about filming together? She's very giving as an actress 
and that translates both on screen and, and off screen. Like she's just a very sweet, thoughtful friend. And that was probably the easiest part of the movie was um, befriending her and um, getting to know her. It, it was very easy. She was very thoughtful and there for me. And we, it was a very intense shoot. So we would help each other out and make each other cups of tea. And she massaged my feet one day because it was really sore. and. I was just really taken by it. It was very sweet. We're so excited for a Call Me By Your Name sequel. What are you most looking forward to for that? I first uh, think that it's not going to be a sequel. It's going to be like a new chronicle in the life of these people. Well, of course, uh, I mean, it's a process. It's something that is, we're not yet there. For many reasons, including the fact that I think I'd like to parallel the age of the characters with the age of the actors. But I believe that it's going to be great to see these people again. It's been in the news that you want Dakota to join for the sequel. Dakota, would you be up for that? Yeah, absolutely. I love that movie and I love those boys. If you were to join, what would you like to explore in that world? I have no idea. <laughs> The Fifty Shades series came to its conclusion this year. I mean, we're such big fans of that movie series. Would you ever be up for returning as Anna? I don't think that that's an option. Did it conclude it for good? Yeah. Did she die at the end? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you were to cast someone else in that role for a sequel, like way in the future, who would you like to see take on that role? She's probably not born yet. 